I don't know what to say, really. Let it begin. Let it begin. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. All comes down to today. I'm going to take a second to talk to you about underdogs. I know Lane and Chris just talked about this, but I don't think that it's been beat home enough. Listen, it takes everybody. It takes everybody. You are committed, all right? You're here for a reason, just to win a championship. And you're here today it tells me that you're dedicated to win a championship. Seven and nine is not good enough. We start today and we build this thing and we build this bully. Identity, man. Identity. What will our identity be in 2017? superhero if he makes it. Come on, Elliot. Come on, Big Four. 61 yards. Hold your breath. Ball is spotted. The kick is away. And the kick is... It's gone! Jason Peters was told he was too old. Didn't have it anymore. Before he got hurt, he was the best freaking tackle in the NFL. Big B was told he didn't have it. Stephen Wisniewski ain't good enough. Jason Kelsey's too small. Lane Johnson can't lay off the juice. Brandon Brooks has anxiety. Right there, this team right there, man. This mean everything. I'ma show, I'ma show them why today. I'ma show them why today. Whatever you play this game for, think about it every snap, man. I promise you. If you think about it every snap, we're gonna walk away with the victory, man. And a new franchise record for Philadelphia's Carson Wentz. Well, nobody wants to see this. Carson Wentz is going off to get looked at in the locker room. We haven't felt like this in a long time. It sucks. Nick Foles don't got it! Boy, it's been a while since a number one seed hasn't felt like a number one seed. The Philadelphia Eagles are the first number one seed in history to start the playoffs as an underdog. There is an impression the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be trampled on by the Falcons, and that perception might be right. You guys had a heck of a two weeks of practice, like it was the beginning of the season. You're ready to go. You've heard everybody talk, you've heard everybody give a speech, and now it's about just going cut to loose and playing without any fear. Nobody's giving you a chance. Nobody's giving us a chance. Ryan pumps. Ryan is throwing it up in the air. Incomplete! Incomplete! I am so freaking proud of everyone. Because you know what? We ain't done yet. All right? One week from tomorrow, we come back together and we shock the world again. Let's get this job done. Super 
Bowl 52. It's simple. Yeah. Be yourself. Don't make it no bigger than it is, man. Now you're going to the Super Bowl. Uh, and once again, the doubters come. No one thinks that the Eagles even have a chance, except for the people in this city, um, in this locker room. You know, our fans were always behind us. They were there, full throttle, ready to go. Though it was finally like almost a relief that it's finally here. All it takes is be give everything you got, everything that you got for 60 minutes. Yeah. We've been the best team in the league from start to finish. They just found it out. Yes, so show the whole world today, man. Real world champ, right here. The Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champions. Oh. Eagles fans everywhere, this is for you. Let the celebration begin. I'm so proud of this group of men. This is a group. This is a group that I'll always remember for sticking together, for trusting in, in me as the head football coach, and trusting in Mr. Lurie. Trusting, trusting in each other. I love these guys. We brought you guys a world championship, and just like Mr. Lurie said, we are not done yet. We have more to go, more to prove. This is our new.